Hey folks, it's Tobias. Um, just wanted to do a demo for you guys today of an updated uh, HDA that I made for you guys. It's uh, Redshift Studio, and uh, this is the, the sort of beta version here. Um, this is something I made years ago, um, and I thought I'd update it for uh, the current versions of Houdini and Redshift. So uh, for Houdini 19.5.4.3.5 and Redshift uh, 3.1.11, I think it is. 3.5.11, there we go. Um, so here we go, we're gonna go ahead and get started with this. Uh, so just drop that down, and what it does is it drops down a simple uh, light setup and a backdrop for you um, with uh, multiple backdrop types. Uh, there's two at the moment. Um, so let me just go ahead and uh, get this started here. Let me kick off the preview here. Uh, and we obviously need to control the position of our uh, backdrop there a little bit and refresh the render because every time we make a geometry change we gotta update uh, so check it out we can do um, you know let's just start right with the lights here so there's a target control for the lights uh, where the left and right will follow and then an independent uh, top light height that you can control if you can see that here maybe it's easier if I click away from that um, uh, it's hard to see. Let me actually select it again there. There we go. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, you have that. Uh, and you can also control the spread of the left and right lights. Uh, the shapes of the lights themselves. So like say you wanted this to be a disc light on top. Um, and maybe a little narrower. You know, something like that. Uh, you could do that. But then you have to refresh the uh, preview render, of course. And of course, color controls for each light. Uh, let's do something like this. And then uh, all the intensity controls are at the bottom here. So uh, you, you can turn them individually off if you want for something like that. Um, you know, something like this could be cool, you know. depending on what you want to do. Uh, and let's show you some of the backdrop features here. So let's get some more lights in there. Um, so yes, we could change the background color, of course, you know, to whatever, whatever you want. And then uh, we can add some noise to it to break it up a little bit. Um, as you can see in the preview render here. And this is using the uh, Maxon uh, noise options so you know you can choose from your list here of things you want to use and uh, you know control the look of it uh, the octaves uh, parameter here is not going to have any effect on some of these noises because they're just not uh, designed that way but uh, you know you can control the scale of this if you want you know, get something that's really subtle you know something like that uh, let's go with that something like that right so there's a little break up to the background it's always good to have something something uh, to break it up a little bit rather than just looking at uh, you know just a plain plain white background so something like that uh, I also added in a separate background um, type so this kind of psych that you have here uh, so we'll bring this uh, forward a little bit, and I'll uh, make this a little wider. And of course, we have to update the geometry in the uh, render preview. Um, let's bring this a little bit more forward, like that. So you get like a, a true seamless uh, background psych there. I'm going to make this a little taller. So something like that. You could also adjust your camera, obviously, but um, let's go ahead and do that just because we can. And I'm just going to kind of zoom in a little bit more here. There we go. That's better. Uh, we'll go back to the studio. And, uh, okay, so, you know, uh, what was I saying here? Back to the lights we can do, you know, make it more, more uh, whatever it is you're trying to do there. So uh, pretty customizable stuff, um, just to give you an idea. Um, 
with the backdrop, of course, with the uh, scaling transforms, you can come up with some pretty interesting looks if you need to. Oops, not real time. Oh no, I hit the wrong button. Now we have to wait. Give it a second. I'll hit pause so you guys don't have to wait. All right, sorry about that. Uh, I accidentally hit the real time button. Uh, but anyway, um, you can do some pretty interesting, cool things here and just refresh. You get some kind of cool depth effects, or whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a pretty simple, simple setup. Hopefully, you guys find some use out of it. Um, and that's a, that's really it. I mean, there's really not much else to to show about it. So, um, but free for you. I'll put it. A link in the uh, description and uh, I'll probably make some changes over the coming weeks uh, to this as I come across them but uh, it's just meant to be a really quick uh, simple light setup simple studio setup so you can do some cool motion graphics type work um, without having to drop down a gazillion nodes and make all kinds of references and all that stuff to get the job done uh, so there you go have fun guys I'll see you soon